Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross update video. This time we have the information for the month of June, which is also the month of June Bride. So if you guys have followed me on um, Facebook or even my Instagram, uh, Instagram I haven't updated anything <laughs> regarding Utah Macross. So mainly on Facebook so far, um, you have probably seen this image um, where Dana showed off a silhouette of basically four divas in the upcoming June Bright costumes. So yes, a lot of people have been wondering if the fourth diva on the right side is actually Cheryl Norm. But interestingly enough, it isn't because it's actually Makina. <laughs> so if you guys were um, curious enough to go through the game itself and if you've gone through to the uh, Utahime dressing room um, you probably have noticed that Cheryl doesn't have that pose um, and actually that pose belongs to Makina because only one particular costume she has um, she is in that particular pose <laughs> and yes so that particular costume belongs to Makina. Makina is part of the June Bright collection. So if you take a look at the Uta Macross official wiki, uh, let's take a look at all the information here. We're gonna break it down as usual. So June Bright campaign. So currently that's going on. Um, they are introducing a brand new item. Uh, which you can see here, this tiny portion here, or if I scroll up, there we go. It's the event gacha ticket. So yes, they're introducing a brand new item to pull gachas with, uh, and these tickets can only be gotten through the event itself. So uh, basically, it's just another way to push you to play the game if you have not been playing. And as you can tell from the banner here, it seems like um, Elaine's wedding dress is being affected by the event gacha tickets because if we scroll down fast enough you can tell you know Millie's wedding dress is getting its own gacha um, but you know same as Ranka and of course oh this is actually pretty interesting um, we'll talk about it later on and Minmei and there it is Makina in her June Bright wedding costume so yeah so all this aside, it seems like, I don't know, a banner here might be a bit misleading, but maybe not. Um, maybe Dana is just setting up a new way to attain those um, costumes that are locked behind a paywall. Uh, but who knows, uh, we'll see eventually when the gachas come around. But for now, this is all they are just getting, giving us information on. Basically, a brand new event gacha ticket being introduced to the game. And you can only attain them during this, um, apparently it's a lock-in mission. So we have, um, you know, mission challenges and login missions, um, login bonuses, that kind of stuff. So a total of 300 singing stones can be attained as well, as well as guaranteed 5 star service gacha tickets. Um, which is always fantastic to get because we always love free 5 star episode plates. <laughs> Alright, moving along. So, seems like Giraffe Blues is going to be the first song, um, or rather first main event song. And of course, Freya is the featured 7 star episode plate. And of course, um, we're back to one 7 star episode plate gachas a month. That's pretty strange. I thought it would be double this month. But anyways, uh, Kaname's um, initial Wild Create costume, if you guys recall, um, I think it was, yeah, it's stated here, it's episode 21 when they showed Claire, Kaname and Makina as the initial uh, um, Wild Create members. I think there was a fourth member as well, but I can't really remember her name. Um, so, Yes, we are getting the official initial costume for Waukure. Uh, Kanami will be getting it. Uh, does that mean that Claire might appear in the game eventually? I don't know. Maybe as a secondary character in the live performance, just like what we had recently with Macross 7. Um, maybe, maybe. Anyways, um, moving along. So as you can tell, we've scrolled through this before. 
So Milane and Ranka are going to be gachas for the um, second and third events of the month. Basically, um, you know the um, what do you call it? Ichiban Kuji? No, no Ichiban. The Kuji event. <laughs> I was trying to recall the term, and apparently Ichiban Kuji came into my mind because that's probably the most prominent uh, branding of Kujis in this modern day. Um, then yeah, so Milane likely to be first, and then of course Ranka to be second. Um, and apparently, is um, Sayonara no Tsubasa is going to be. Um, I guess the featured song for the Red Boss event? Hmm, that's going to be a very difficult Red event to play because Sayonara no Tsubasa is not an easy song. Oh well. Anyways, moving along. So, like I said, this is pretty interesting. This has never happened before. Um, basically, they showed off the illustration for the Red Boss event exclusive episode plate which belongs to Cheryl and Kaname as you can tell. So yeah, Cheryl is not being left out from the June Bright collection, kind of. Um, well, at least her wedding dress is being shown in an episode plate. I'm stuttering here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kaname is being featured as well. Um, but you know, sadly to say, they are not getting their own exclusive gachas as the other four divas. So yeah, anyway, Sunset Wedding. So as you can tell from this, Sunset Beach is going to be the main song. I apologize for the noise that my neighbor is making <laughs> constructing their home. As usual, they are still not done. I wonder why. Anyways, moving us along. Um, so yeah, Sunset Beach is going to be the event song. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And Sunset Beach isn't exactly a very difficult song, so that's gonna be a relaxing time um, from you know Sayonara no Tsubasa. Uh, Makina is definitely going to be the next featured diva alongside this, so I'm actually looking forward to this. In fact, um, I'm looking forward to other costumes as well. I guess they are getting wedding, maybe. Maybe Basara's groom costume in the future as we get a sneak peek here. Uh, so yeah, Ray Ray has already gotten her wedding costume last year, so that's a very nice lovely pair to put together in a you know live performance eventually once Makina's costume comes along. So yeah, and of course the more information regarding the repeat event. Um, so I guess if you have yet to get Cheryl's wedding costume. Um, from previous years, now is your chance to do so. Yeah, so yeah, I guess I guess Cheryl is definitely getting a part in June Bright events. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Anyway, so there's really not much to say this month for June. Uh, but as usual, um, Dana usually keeps a lot of other events and you know maybe login bonuses and missions and all this kind of stuff that we need to clear throughout the month uh, they don't usually put it into their monthly update information um, they just toss it out to us because they want to make the game fresh for us players and keep us surprised along the way so anyway guys as usual let me know your thoughts about the events and the gachas coming for the month of june in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next full time across video after you've done all the good stuff you know as usual like share subscribe till then bye